Hey, I'm Ronnie, and in this video, I'm going to teach you five pro drumming warm ups to help warm up before a show. But also, these patterns are genuinely really good for the single stroke roll and the double stroke roll. So, they're going to help your overall drumming ability as well. So, let's get into it, and I'll break down each one individually. So, the first pattern is going to start off like this so i'll play it through first and then i'll explain what's going on okay so what's happening here is i'm starting off on my right hand and i'm doing four hits with my right hand then i'm moving on to my left doing four hits so it goes like this After that, I'm going to do a roll and it's going to be eight strokes. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then after that, I'm going to then finish by doing another four on my right hand. The reason why I'm going to do that is because the next part is basically an exact copy of what we just did, but it's going to be leading with your left hand instead. So you're going to start with your left hand going one, two, three, four, then your right hand after. And then you're gonna do that roll with your left hand starting this time. Eight strokes again, and then next is the four hits to finish it off on your left. And that would be the full pattern. So I'll play it nice and slow this time. Pattern two is similar to pattern one, but instead of it being in fours, this one's in threes, so it's more like a triplet. Right, 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 left, 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 right, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're gonna go left, 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 right, 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 left, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. But this time we led that faster roll with our right hand. So it's very similar to the other pattern. You're basically utilizing leading with both hands in this pattern. Let's play it up to speed now. Let's move on to pattern three. So in pattern three, we're gonna utilize the double stroke roll. And basically it's the double stroke roll, but you're starting each one with a flam, so. For instance, if I do a double stroke roll leading with my right hand, which is going to be right, right, left, left, but because I'm adding a flam on the beginning of it, I'm doing a very, very quiet left handed stroke just before I, I start it with my right hand doing the right, right. So it's going to go like this. That was obviously the first part of the double. And as you know, doubles go right, right, left, left. So this time we're going to do the left left, but there's going to be a very quiet right handed stroke just before that first left left. 
once you put the two together, it will sound like this. And if you speed it up, it will eventually sound like this. Alright, let's move on to pattern four. So pattern four is going to be a mix between the single stroke roll and the double stroke roll. I find this pattern really difficult to be honest because it's basically the idea of it is you want to be doing a single stroke roll and then switch into a double stroke roll and for it to sound exactly the same so you want it all to sound like a single stroke roll the whole way through. Now I can't do this completely evenly even now but um, it's a really good exercise to warm up to because it it gets the concentration going and it's good for just moving, doing the singles and the double strokes. But um, let's break it down and look at it. You're gonna do eight hits. Once you've done that, you're then just gonna do eight hits again, but this time it's gonna be in doubles. Okay, this time I'm going to play it, but count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that was in singles, and now I'm gonna do eight in doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the idea of this pattern is just to put them both together and just try and make it sound as even as possible. I'll play it nice and slow. Okay, now I'm gonna play it up to speed. As you can see, mine still needs work and you can still hear the doubles are clearly different to the singles, but that's the great thing about this particular exercise because it makes me really concentrate on it and try and focus on do I need to play the singles quieter or do I need to change the way I'm playing the doubles. So in general, it's a great warm up to do and it's a fantastic exercise as well, just in general to practice. Pattern number five is quite similar to number four, but it's like it's doing a paradiddle between the singles and doubles. So you're gonna go singles, doubles, singles, singles, doubles, singles, doubles, doubles. Okay, I'm gonna play it just to explain what's going on a little bit better. I'll play it a bit slower and this time I'll explain what's going on. One, two, three, four is singles. One, two, three, four is doubles. And then eight as singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna do virtually the same thing, but this time leading with the doubles. So we're gonna go four doubles, four singles, and then eight doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you're basically just repeating that over and over again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's try it up to speed.
This is another great pattern that makes you concentrate because you want it all to sound like you're playing a single stroke roll. Even when I played it then, you could definitely tell that I wasn't doing a single stroke roll the whole time, but that's why it's great to warm up with and it's a great one to practice as well in general because you're just learning a lot more about your control of both the single stroke roll and the double stroke roll and it just gets everything way smoother than it was before. Okay, that sums up the five warm-up exercises for pro drummers. I hope you enjoyed the video. Good luck practicing and see you in the next one.